Welcome to Any Way You Slice It, where we talk about your identity and purpose in the kingdom of God. Come join author Ricardo Richardson as we slice our way to the core of God's Word to experience the beautiful and transformational discovery of who we are and why we exist, no matter how we slice it. Today's message is, God is the Comforter. Beloved family, our text says that the Lord God provided a leafy plant and made it grow up over Jonah to give shade for his head to ease his discomfort. And Jonah was very happy about the plant. Jonah 4 verse 6. When we read this verse, the statement that jumps out at us is God provided a plant and made it grow to give shade over Jonah's head to ease his discomfort. God did something special and supernatural for Jonah that day. He accelerated the growth of the plant or the circumstances around Jonah just to make him comfortable. See, God does that. He will do whatever it takes to comfort his children. He is the comforter. A baby longs for the comfort of their parents. I remember holding my oldest daughter, Raven, as a baby, and when she cried, I got anxious and tried to do everything I could to comfort her, but nothing worked. Then a mom said, give her the pacifier. I said, what? A pacifier? Because growing up in the Bahamas, we called that thing a comforter. I gave her the rubber comforter, and she calmed down and was comforted. It is very comforting to know that God is a comforting God. He wants to calm us down. In fact, Jesus tells his disciples, Oh, you of little faith, be calm and I will calm the storm. And tell the winds and waves, peace, be still. That's what I was trying to tell baby Raven. Peace be still. But the pacifier or comforter spoke louder on my behalf. King David knew that God is a God who comforts. So he sang in Psalms 23, 4, Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and staff, they comfort me. In our opening text today, we see that God provided comfort for Jonah. But let me show you something that may shock you. God also provided his discomfort. Let's read the text. But at dawn the next day, God provided a worm which chewed the plant so that it withered. When the sun rose, God provided a scorching east wind. And the sun blazed on Jonah's head so that he grew faint. He wanted to die and said, it would be better for me to die than to live. Now, that's a statement of discomfort. I know some of us don't want to accept that God is not only a God of comfort, but he is also a God of discomfort. Listen to me. God is not alarmed or bothered by our uncomfortableness when he is at work in our lives. There is something he's trying to work out, and oftentimes he uses uncomfortable situations and circumstances as a canvas for his masterpiece to complete the work in us. He wanted to prove to Jonah that sometimes we get so comfortable we don't think about others' discomfort. I know I'm speaking to us now. We are so comfortable in our own situations that we don't worry about what's going on outside of our home. We are so comfortable in our own neighborhoods. We don't worry about what's going down in the inner cities. As long as we are in the comfort of our AC, others outside in the blistering hot sun doesn't bother us. The Lord Jesus told his faithful servant, Paul, I know that thorn in your side is making you uncomfortable, but my grace is sufficient for your comfort. Persevere and be perfected in it so that you will lack nothing. Our Lord and Savior was born king doing what is referred to as the massacre of the innocents. See, King Herod had planned to make the Magi tell him of the whereabouts of the Christ child. 
When he hears the Magi's would not bring him the news, he grew angry and tried to kill the infant Messiah by killing all the young children in the area at that time. So even King Jesus was born in an uncomfortable circumstance and during an uncomfortable and unstable time. The mother eagle builds the nest high among the cliffs. She puts stones at the bottom and cushions it. As the baby eagle grows, its weight causes the nest to become thorny, making it very uncomfortable. This is to encourage the eagle to leave the nest and the comfort of its mother. When the time comes, the mother will tear up the nest so that its young has no choice but to fly. God may put us in uncomfortable circumstances so that we can fly above mediocrity. You've been on that same job for 20 years. You don't feel appreciated, yet you've become comfortable. Then you discover that your name is listed on the layoff list. That's just God tearing up your nest. You're ready to fly, to start that business you've been dreaming about for so long, or leave trade altogether and go into ministry, pick up your cross and follow Christ. It is in our discomfort that we know that God is a comforter. Jesus told his disciples, but here's the truth. It's to your advantage that I go away. For if I don't go away, the comforter will not be released to you. But after I depart, I will send him to you. John 16, 7. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. Much love.